Okay, in this lecture we're going to talk about uh, some particular kinds of lines. In fact, we're going to talk about parallel lines and perpendicular lines. And uh, just as a point of review, um, let's remember that a horizontal line all right, has the form uh, y equals k and it has a slope equal to zero. Okay? And a vertical line has the form uh, x equals k, where k is a constant, and a slope which is undefined. Right, now let's talk about parallel lines. Now parallel lines are two lines where the distance between the two is always the same. Now, if you look at the rise over run for two lines like this, all right, you'll see that the rise over the run is the same. And so for parallel lines, if this has a slope of m1 and this has a slope of m2, then for parallel lines, we have m1 equals m2. So in other words, the slopes are equal. So we have a result that says two lines are parallel if the slopes are equal. If two lines uh, have the same slope, then they are parallel. All right, let's talk about perpendicular. Now, perpendicular right, means that we have two lines that cross at right angles. Now, let's suppose this one has a slope of m1 and this one's a slope of m2. Now it's not too hard to show, using the distance formula actually, that the relationship between these two slopes is in fact this. Okay, so the relationship between the slopes m1 and m2 is in fact that m1 times m2 is equal to negative 1. Or we could write this as m2 is equal to um, negative 1 on m1, or m1 equals negative 1 on m2, whichever way you'd like to do it. This is what's called a negative reciprocal relationship. All right, now in this particular example, we're asked to find the equation in slope-intercept form of a line that passes through the point 2, negative 4 and satisfies the given condition, number 1, that is parallel to this line. All right, so if I look at this line, if it's parallel to this line, then it has the same slope. So the first thing I have to do is find the slope. Well, this implies then that 2y equals negative 3x plus 5, if I subtract 3 from 3x from both sides. So this implies then that y is equal to negative 3 on negative 2x plus 5 over negative 2. So in other words, we have that y equals 3 on 2x minus 5 on 2. The point being here is that the slope of this line is actually equal to 3 on 2. So the slope of the line through the point, uh, the point being 2, negative 4, is also 3 on 2. So the equation, we can find it using the point slope form, which is y minus y1 equals m by x minus x1 which implies that we have y subtract the negative 4, this is the point, equals 3 on 2 by x take 2. So in other words, y plus 4 is equal to 3 on 2x, and 3 on 2 times negative 2 is going to be uh, negative 3, which implies then that y is equal to 3 on 2x, and we're subtracting 4 from both sides, minus 7, and so this would be the equation of my line. Okay, so that's how we do uh, that one, part A. Now part B. 
Okay. We also know from part A, all right, the slope of uh, 3x take 2y equals 5 is in fact 3 on 2. So a line perpendicular to this line through the point uh, 2, negative 4 will have a slope. And what will be the slope equal to? Well, it will be the negative reciprocal of this will be negative 1 over 3 on 2, which of course, or negative 2 thirds. Right, now note, if I have negative two thirds and I'm timesing by three halves, I actually get negative one, which is our condition. Right, so the equation, right, is going to be of the perpendicular line. Right, through to negative four. All right, with slope uh, negative two thirds is all right. Again, we do the point slope form. So I end up with y plus four equals negative two thirds plus four thirds. So that implies, and that's an x there. All right, so we, this implies in y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 4 thirds minus 4. Now, 4, of course, is equal to um, uh, 12 thirds. Okay. So in other words, this becomes y is equal to negative 2 thirds x. All right, so we have um, 4 thirds minus uh, 12 thirds would be negative 8 thirds. And so that would in fact be the equation of our line.